what's going on everyone and welcome back to part two of my shop heater install series. So in part one, we've got the unit heater hung and all the electrical run in. So in part two, we're gonna be running this one inch gas pipe from the front of my shop to the back of the shop where it'll actually tie into the heater. After the pipe's installed, I'll be putting it under pressure to ensure that it will have any leaks. So with that being said, let's get after it. All right, to start this out, the gas pipe actually enters the building here um, in the front portion of my shop. So I need to expose this wall. So I'll be removing some of the miscellaneous things that I've hanging there and then taking the sheet of OSB off. That way I can plan where to drill the hole for this pipe to actually enter up into my attic. So now that this wall's opened up, it's time for me to drill a one and three quarter inch hole through the top of this wall. But there were some previously drilled holes which would have made it difficult for me to start my hole saw. So I used a piece of scrap Baltic birch plywood, cut a one and three quarter inch hole in it, and used that as a guide for my hole saw. All right, so with the hole drilled up through my top plate, now it's time to go upstairs and kind of see what I'm dealing with as far as trusses and the layout to see kind of how my pipes need to go together. So my plan is to take uh, one of these horizontal runs with one of the 90s spun onto it and I'll lay it across the attic trusses and line up the 90 with the hole that I just drilled. So then I can kind of see if I'm gonna need, you know, a 10 foot stick or two 10 foot sticks to get me out far enough to shoot down the center of the shop, or if I need to use a 10 foot piece and maybe a one foot or two foot nipple to kind of just get me uh, in line. All right, so with that first horizontal run up in the attic, I tried to thread the vertical piece of pipe up through the hole but I didn't have very good luck um, getting the threads to start, so I cut this access window, which will allow me to be able to grab that piece of pipe up in the attic and thread the vertical piece to it. All right, so I got this horizontal piece in, that vertical stubbed up to kind of hold it in place. Now I just need to make sure that I've got enough room to get around this truss brace right here. So I've got two sticks up here, and I'm just gonna slide it over. And believe it or not, I think I'm happy with where that's at. So now what I'm gonna do is just get um, a Teflon tape, some pipe dope, and my wrenches, come up here and thread on this 90, and then I think I'll be in Fat City. All right, so I got my pipe about three quarters of the way um, down towards the back of my shop. Um, when I was laying this out, I was trying to utilize my full 10 foot sticks so I didn't have to buy any um, shorter nipples or pre-cut nipples. And so I ran it kind of close to this truss because a 10 foot stick when I did the 90 down at the front, it lined me up just on the outside of these trusses. So it worked out pretty good. But the one problem that I didn't um, see at that time was that I'd be running into this second attic access that I have um, in my shop. So what I have to do is I gotta cut and thread a nipple that's roughly two feet long, which will put me pretty close to this front side here, bring it over, 90 it back towards the wall, and then 90 back that way towards my unit heater. So fortunately I was able to borrow a pipe threader. So I'll cut my pipe, do my own um, short nipples to get me around this little obstacle here, and then I'll be on my way.
All right, so where I'm at now is I need to run the last about 13 and a half feet of pipe uh, from where I left off by that um, attic access in the back of my shop over to the unit heater itself in the other corner. So it's about 13 and a half feet or so uh, where I plan to drop it down through my ceiling. So what I've got is a three and a half foot nipple that I've cut and threaded and then this 10 foot um, full stick that I'll couple together with the three and a half foot stick. And then I'm also down here going to spin on the last 90 that'll actually 90 down through my ceiling where I'll be making the connection to my unit heater. So hopefully um, 13 and a half feet of pipe won't be too long to get up into my attic and screw on. Um, but if not, I'll have to do it piece by piece, which is going to be kind of a bummer because back where I have to drop through the ceiling to get to my unit heater, it's it's a really short um, with the roof line there. So it's going to, that'd be lame. All right, so now that I have my gas pipe ran from the front corner of my shop to the back of the shop with my, or to my unit heater, I'm going to install a plug on one end and this gauge um, with a shader valve so I can put about 15 pounds of air pressure on it and watch it to make sure I don't have any leaks with any of my connections up in the attic. So before I get any further and strap my pipe run down, backfill it with um, insulation and make it look all pretty. I want to ensure that I don't have any leaks. I'm going to have to go back and correct. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers because it is going to be a complete pain in the ass if I have to go back and fix a joint. So hopefully that's not the case. Um, and right now it's still at 15 pounds and it's been about 24 hours. So um, real quick, I, I will have to do this again because I'm going to have to run this pipe and then penetrate through the side of my shop to where I can connect it into the actual gas line that feeds the shop. But I wanted to ensure that I didn't have any leaks up in the attic before I moved further. So I will have to, once I penetrate to the side, I'll reinstall this gauge because when the inspector comes out to inspect this, he needs to make sure there's no leaks in the whole system. So um, I kind of just did like a little initial test of this to make sure um, before I went up and secured all the pipe to my trusses and buried it with insulation. So that's the next step is to go back up top, put all my straps on my pipe, and then recover it with insulation and walk away from that part of it. I'm glad to be out of the attic. All right, so last night um, I left off with a different short nipple that I had on here. I had a four and a half inch nipple and then 90 over, but I didn't like where at it was gonna penetrate through my wall. It put me really close to the floor of my shop. So I actually added on a 16 inch um, nipple here, which will put me through right about here, which will make it easier to connect on the inside. So that's kind of what I changed when I came up with today, when I came out with more light, kind of looked at some stuff, so. All right, so I'm actually uh, I'm going to do like a little dry fit here so I know exactly where I need to punch this hole for this piece to penetrate through the side of my shop. So I just kind of put things together um, and then had a short, I think it was a two inch or three inch nipple that I screwed onto this 90, um, traced it out, and then I'll remove this so I can drill my hole through there and know that I'm still plumb here with the vertical riser and I'll be able to hit that entry hole. Um, I also put the tape down because I'm kind of limited on my hole saw, so I'm gonna try to drill this with a spade bit. Um, it's already playing sighting, so it might chew it up. I'm trying to eliminate the size of hole I need to drill um, just for aesthetic purposes, but if I gotta go a little bit bigger with a uh, one and three quarter inch hole saw, then that's what I'll do and just have to do a good job poking it and repainting it in the, in the springtime. All right, so I'm using a spade bit. I know it's not the correct bit, but like I said, I'm limited on bits right now, so I don't wanna run into the store. So don't blast me in the comments. We're gonna see how this works. It's either gonna be an epic fail or it's gonna work out this fine. Go nice and slow. So I'd say it worked out just perfect. It's probably not too good for them spade bits, but that's a pretty clean hole. That's what she said.
All right, so now that this is all hooked up, I can reseal the other side and air test for my unit heater all the way to the hookup by the house. And then I'll know that the whole piping that I've done is airtight, or I guess gas tight. All right, so this is a good spot to end part two. We got the gas pipe installed, got it under pressure and checked for leaks. My initial intent was to get the vent pipe installed, get it inspected and fired it off. But COVID came through the household, which is gonna slow this whole process down. So I'm gonna do a part three where I install the vent pipe, get it inspected and fired off and give you a nice review of how the shop heater is working. So I'll link all the products that I used in my description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you can be notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.